Hey, what's up guys? Joe here with Vision Network and today I want to welcome you to the very first channel spotlight on Vision Network US. That's right, I'm going to be spotlighting one of our partners channels each week um, telling you about their channel, what they're doing in the community and things that I think they could do to their channel to help their channel have a better chance of success. So it's kind of like a channel review and kind of like a shout out but we're gonna call it a spotlight I know a lot of other networks and channels out there are using the term spotlight but it is what it is I like the I like the name of it and it's very self -descript descriptive and I think that it, it just uh, it's a good job at explaining what we're doing here so right now you're just looking at our website uh, visionnetworkus.com I went ahead and just put this up on the screen so that it wouldn't have an early spoiler alert in the video so you guys uh, wouldn't know what channel I'm going to shout out until I got my introduction done and uh, told you a little bit about the series so yeah, each week I'm gonna be looking for a partner that's really active in the community someone who's giving back to the other partners trying to help them grow their channels someone that's just they're all over the place everywhere I look they're either on the vision Skype group chat they're on Twitter they're on a Facebook page uh, they're on Vision Social or the Vision Forums. They're everywhere, uh, all over the place, and they're really active. They're even they're commenting on our videos when we upload on our Vision Network uh, US channel. I like to see that, and and uh, also this particular person that I'm about to spotlight is also a member of the Vision Network GFX team. So there again, he is giving back to our community and trying to help others with their channels. Um, I like him. I think he's a really good guy, and I would love to uh, spotlight his channel and see if we can't help him get a little bit more exposure and, in the meantime, give him some tips and pointers on how he can improve his channel. After this video, if you want to be a, uh, in the channel spotlight series, you need to do all of that. I want to see that you're active in our community, uh, commenting on these particular videos, the spotlight videos. Tell me in the comments uh, if you like the series, if you would like to be spotlighted, um, if you s feel like your channel needs some help, if there's any areas that you need some help in. But you're going to need to be active in our Skype group chat, our forums, Twitter, Facebook, uh, all of our social media. I want to see you around the community helping others, collaborating, making videos with others, maybe helping out with GFX, whatever it is special skill that you have that you feel like you could contribute back to the vision community that's what I want to see and if I see somebody doing that then I will absolutely give you a spotlight so here we go Killian's MLG fun congratulations uh, you are our very first spotlighted channel on the vision network YouTube channel um, he goes by Killian's MLG Fun, but his actual URL is Killian Olin, and uh, so you guys may know him by one or the other. Um, he's very active in our community. He's all over the place. Everywhere I go, he's in there commenting, uh, giving his opinions on stuff, and, and helping others, and he's a part of the GFX team here at Vision. And so I thought that it was only fitting to give him the very first uh, channel spotlight. So um, I'm not signed into my channel or my Gmail or anything because I wanted to when I when I went to the channel I wanted to see what someone would see if they were not subscribed, and so what he has uh, said here is his uh, feed or his activities. Now I have a problem with that when it comes to uh, growing your channel. If you want your channel to be visible and uh, you want new subscribers to come to your channel. I'd like to see an unsubscribe trailer, a channel trailer that pe only people that are not subscribed to you would see. So when they come to your channel, they would see a short video about you and your channel and what you do. Or you could even choose your channel trailer to be your most recent uploaded video or one of your favorite videos. And I don't see that here. Um, let's go ahead and go to uh, the about. Now here he has um, a short description. It says, "Hey guys, my name is Killian. I'm 13, and I love YouTube. I started at Xmas or Christmas 2013. I record with an HD 
PVR2. My CPU is an HP Pavilion. It has 32 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte hard drive, and processor and Intel i7 with NVIDIA GeForce graphics. Three, okay, wow. That's a lot of cool stuff. Let's not read the whole thing, but he's got a brief description there, and he's got his uh, goals and subscribers and what he's reached and, and whatnot. Um, I think that's cool and everything, but really what you should do, Killian, is have a full-blown description of you and your channel. Um, and at the end, if you want to include the specs on your computer, I think that's fine, but I don't really think a lot of people are going to subscribe to you based on your computer specs. And I see you have some goals here, and that's good, but I think that's just taking up space. Uh, if I were you, I would just remove that and concentrate on telling people about your channel. Um, but as you can see down here, he does have over 400 subs. He's got 419 currently and 7,800 views on his channel. So that's pretty cool. He's got a Twitter link and a Google Plus page link down here. And uh, let's see here under channels. He's got some uh, featured channels here. He's got Calman Plays. He's one of our partners. Uh, Dowdy Plays. Uh, Awesome Spuds MC and of course Freedom. All right, well, that's cool. So he's featuring some of his friends on on his uh, YouTube channel, including Freedom. I don't see that you featured Vision Network on there. I would like to see that, but I'm just kidding. That's that's up to you. Um, playlists. He's got favorites. Let's play Xbox and Saints Row. Um, that's all right. Let's go to uh, videos. So here we see we got some, uh, he's got a lot of different kinds of thumbnails. Uh, he is uploading pretty regularly. Uh, last video was uploaded three weeks ago. It was a new in, new outro made by Revision. Um, and then he's got, here he's got a new channel and giveaway winner. So he's doing some giveaways. That's always good. And he even made an intro for Chaos uh, King Chaos Gaming, who is also one of our partners. He made him an intro that's really cool I love to see that and uh, it looks like to me he plays uh, GTA 5 and I know for a fact that he loves Minecraft we talk about Minecraft all the time and I know that he's actively playing on our Minecraft server uh, brought to you by XDX Network uh, Minecraft community so that's great um, as for the thumbnails some of them look pretty good but in my opinion, a channel that uh, is really trying to get themselves known and get themselves out there, it always goes back to branding. When it comes to branding, you want to have a profile pic and a YouTube banner that kind of match, that go together. And you also want to bring that same design and style into your thumbnails so that wherever I am on the internet, if I'm searching for a video and I land on one, and it pops up a thumbnail, it's immediately recognizable as one of yours. So I'm be like, oh, oh yeah, that's one of Killian's videos. I know it's going to be great. Let me go ahead and click on that. And so in these uh, thumbnails, there's not really much there to identify with Killian on the thumbnails. And I know that he's got great skills when it comes to Photoshop. So Killian, if you're watching this, I would like to see you put a little bit more effort in your thumbnails and try to create a template that is going to uh, match the style and design of your branding. I love your banner. I think your banner looks excellent. Your profile pic though um, doesn't really match what I see on your banner but I know that your profile pic is kind of Minecraft. It's a Minecraft theme and that's pretty cool but you might want to think about how you put together your branding so that people will recognize your your thumbnails and your channel logo and banner um, everywhere across the internet so that as your channel grows you'll be more um, they'll, they'll see more consistency with who you are as a youtuber um, let's see let's go to look at a few more of his videos so he's got Grand Theft Auto and lots of Minecraft I tell you what, let's click on a few videos and uh, let's play some. Let's start with um, let's start with this GTA Five.
All right, so he's got his name up top there, Killian's MLG Fun. That's good. We'll just play a minute or so of this uh, video, and then we'll go on to uh, a, a different one. So this is apparently some type of a GTA 5 train glitch. I think it's one where it gives you uh, unlimited ammunition or, or explosives or something. But there's no commentary in the video, which is fine. Uh, some videos are, you know, um, are fine without a commentary. But I've always been a fan of doing commentaries during videos. Tell you what, let's let's go and check out a couple of other videos. I know we're running over the uh, like 11 minute mark right now without my editing, so I know I don't want to make the videos too long. Um, let's see here. How to put bows, swords, and more on armor. This is from a month ago. A little Minecraft video. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Killian, and I'm here today with another epic video. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to put either and like bows and diamond swords on armor stands you can only do this in vanilla minecraft using the commands unless you're on a server and you have admin or you're the owner of course so let's say i want to put armor on it which is pretty simple i'm sure most of you guys know how to do this i want to put it on this and because i'm in creative this stuff isn't coming out of my inventory now if you see what I'm doing now, I'm clicking it and it's not going on. So the first thing you're going to want to do is press slash. And I'll have the command now down below in the description if you guys want to do this. You want to write down entity data, at E, then this. So he's got a, a very detailed I tutorial telling you guys how to do this particular uh, trick in Minecraft. Then and I think that's really good. Uh, there's always a need for tutorials on YouTube, and he's uh, sharing with you something that he's good at. He's good at Minecraft, and he's sharing this with the Minecraft community, and his commentary is very clear, easy to understand, and uh, great details. So that's something that I like to see. Uh, no matter what type of video it is that you're doing, you know, well, you know, especially in a tutorial, uh, always remember to speak clearly and give uh, detailed instructions. Let's see, uh, here's some Titanfall multiplayer. Alright, here we go with some Titanfall. Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Killian and I'm here today with another epic video. Today we're going to be playing Titanfall. I uh, literally just got this game there, bro. It sounds like he has a good microphone too. Right now, um, I'm gonna go on. A uh, player needs to see him become master today. Um, I'm just looking at some of the game up here. Have ever played Battlefield right. Titanfall before? This is Let's skip to some of the uh, gameplay. I want to apologize if the videos are a little bit blurry that I'm playing because my computer is like pretty maxed out right now recording my screen with the editing software open um, and whatnot but uh, that's the best way that I could think of to show you guys uh, in real time uh, channel spotlight the thing about this map is um, this is the map where I first saw gameplay of the thing which motivated me to get the game which I got today when my little brother wanted to get a microphone for Xbox Live to talk to one of his friends. So. Okay. So that's pretty cool. He's in there, uh, I believe, with his little brother in a lobby and they're playing together. I like that. 
Um, so as you can see, he's got quite a bit of variety on his channel. Um, he's got good artwork for his banner. Profile pic um, looks pretty good. I would like to see it uh, with a banner that matches more myself. Um, and the thumbnails, I'd like to see a consistency among the thumbnails with good titles and descriptions. Um, because uh, some of you guys may forget that everything that you put on a thumbnail as far as the text goes is searchable in search engine optimization and with the uh, title of the video is also those keywords in the title the description and on the thumbnail are all searchable uh, across YouTube and Google so you want to have good titles descriptions and thumbnails um, other than that I think he's doing a pretty good job with this channel he's pretty active and and I like that it would uh, serve everybody well to take your time and go through all of your channel settings and make sure you got a default description set up and you know set up all your defaults and everything so every time you upload a video it's done for you automatically alright this is Joe with uh, Vision Network I want to thank you for watching the channel spotlight today Killian congratulations on being our very first uh, channel that we spotlighted on our episode. I hope you like the layout. What I was looking for was something that as if you're watching television. So I I, I built me a little uh, overlay with an HD television and a tablet and put my, my webcam in there. I hope you like it. Um, it's probably a work in progress. I may change it a little bit as we go along. I hope you like the series. I know we're at like 18 minutes right now. I'm going to try to edit a little bit out and maybe make it a little bit shorter. Um, and maybe next week's episode will will make it a lot shorter than this because uh, I know a lot of you guys may get bored and not want to watch a 20 minute video alright guys until next time be sure to like subscribe favorite and follow us on our, all of our social media Twitter and Facebook all the links will be in the description of this video as I said before I'm Joe with Vision Network and we'll see you later take care <laughs>